This is one of our earlier prototypes. You can see some of the wires stuck to it. The machine back here, Millie, is actually how we build our prototypes and how we're able to turn around hardware really quickly. You can see the custom circuits, power supply motor drivers. This is a stereo microscope that we use both for uh, reworking circuit boards and also for looking at engrave quality. So we actually have some engravings that we did where we can look really closely and see what the edge quality is because uh, well, it looks just, if something's wrong, it'll look a little blurry from a distance, but up close you can actually see if the lines are offset or lined up perfectly. These are all laser made. Wow. This is um, laser cut leather and plywood, and it's a picture from the Library of Congress of Seattle 100 years ago. even a piece of uh, seaweed. We put it in resin so it wouldn't break. A piece of seaweed? Yeah, this is nori for sushi. Yeah, holy cow. These are laser engraved. Laser engraved. It's fine. How about if we take the Mars logo and we can put that on like a cool little coaster type thing? I'm exactly. into it. So what do you think is going to make sense for this logo then? A uh, coaster that's a big circle and then we'll engrave ours right in the middle like your circle with ours. I'm going to put some material in and close the lid. So you can see there's the, there's the material and I can pick where it's going to go. So I'm going to put it right here in the top right corner. I'm going to hit print. It's going to send it over to Glowforge. You can see right here, it knows exactly how long it's going to take. It's doing a little preview. Um, so let's go over and hit the button. Glowforge only has one button, so it's pretty easy to figure out which one to do. And this is just straight up. So the laser tube is only 40 watts. This is our basic model, so it's a 40 watt laser, which means it's got as much power uh, coming out of it as a 40 watt light bulb. But that power is focused down to eight one thousandths of an inch. And so that tiny little spot is so hot, it doesn't burn the wood, it actually vaporizes it. Is this computer could be at my house or halfway around the world? Because this is connected to Glowforge via Wi-Fi, you can actually call your local makerspace, say, I'm going to print your, print your Glowforge, could you put a piece of material in there for me, hit print. Now somebody has to hit the button, so you can't just fire up some of these Glowforge without them knowing, um, to kick it off. But it means that you can control it from just about anywhere, any network, um, even from your tablet, mobile device. Immediately grab. Yep. No key Pick it up. There. And pull off that sticker. That was pretty smashing. It's made of walnut plywood.